Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another virtual hike. We're gonna do, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a little red and we're gonna go down the beaver slide nature path. It's overcast today, so the lighting is horrible. I apologize for that, but mother nature does what mother nature's gonna do. I've selected the Beaver Slide Nature Trail because I think this one's going to be the most navigable on Little Red. We're at the end of February 2022. Jappy and I have spent the last three days wandering around in East Texas. We went and paid a visit to our new new 10 acre track that will hopefully someday soon be the new Dude RV RV base camp. for our visit because there's no there's no RV park close by uh, there, there was no availability at RV parks close by so we ended up spending two nights at a private RV campground on Houston Lake just outside of Crockett Texas it wasn't a, wasn't too bad of an experience it was, the location was, was really nice. It was, there wasn't a whole lot of road noise. It was really quiet, except for at night, the, there, were, there were a dozen street lights that buzzed. Then we ran over, we went east and spent one night at Ratcliffe Lake recreation area in the Davy Crockett National Forest because after my previous visit which was just a, a waypoint one night waypoint I really wanted to go back and try doing some fishing only to find out that Ratcliffe Lake is really shallow really shallow I mean really really shallow My first visit to Purdish Creek years ago when my, when my children were small, they had a, an extreme raccoon problem. I don't know if they've got, if they finally got the raccoons under control, but, uh, on that visit, they were actually having a raccoon barbecue. 
The only time I've ever consumed raccoon. Don't ask me what it tastes like because that was so long ago I don't remember. It wasn't bad. Uh, of course, you put barbecue sauce. Enough barbecue sauce on anything and it doesn't taste bad. So we're only here for one night. But I definitely want to come back to Furtis Creek. Oh, big root. I want to return to Purtis Creek and deploy bobber. This will be a great little lake for floating bobber around. Big rocks. I got a squeak somewhere, I can't figure out where it is. the bar. Curtis Creek State Park, like most of our state parks, is having a real issue with feral pigs, feral hogs, tearing stuff up. A big sign up at the front of the park letting you know that if you see areas of ground that is just all tore up, that is because of the pigs. Let's see what side F looks like. Just because I'm curious. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean it's just a just a fire ring.
Spring is almost here. Here in North Texas, we're about to have another icy blow. Hopefully it is going to be the last one of this winter season. I'm ready to pull all my shorts back out. Put all my long pants away. and release trophy bass lake. When I was camping here with my children, my oldest caught a very large bass on her Snoopy pole. We're using goldfish off the dock. bass was so big she could not pull it out of the water. I don't know that I've ever caught a bass that large. <laughs> I sure hope this is a loop. I don't want to have to turn around and backtrack. Just be inspired to start throwing rocks at me because I'm disturbing their afternoon nap.
but this is really pretty in here in terms of when everything is green during the spring and summer. This big old oak tree. traffic on this path. on the primitive camping loop. I presume means we're going to have to backtrack. I sure thought this was a, had a loop going somewhere else. I'm wondering, if, I think this is the um, trail that they bring the gator down here for the, the truck to empty that big vault toilet. As long as they don't plan on coming down here to empty the vault toilet today, I won't encounter anybody.
just wandering around lost, sir. We don't know how we got here. wasn't for those concrete drop-offs at that one creek crossing I could have gone back out that way going down is easy compared to going back up Believe it or not, this seems to be a little smoother anyway. Not smooth like asphalt or concrete smooth. Smooth like uh, not as many tree roots sticking out. This is the way back to the road. Man, this turned up to much, much longer ride than I expected. far from civilization. Somebody comes down here and mows this. in the park but we're headed away from the campground all right we'll, we'll go just a little bit further
Then we're gonna turn around. I think if we, if I keep going that way, it'll circumnavigate the whole lake. Not positive, but I kind of got a feeling. We're not lost. We know how to get back.
Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm uh, focusing. Battery died, but I got a, I had a spare with me, so I made it back out before I messed with putting in a new battery. So this is the trail that we went around, and it was from here that we went over, and I think this is the one that we were on, but I'm not positive. What I don't see where that house is on here anywhere but i think that's where the house was i don't know we're back over here though 
Hey, if you enjoyed our little ride through the nature trail at Purdish Creek State Park, I would really appreciate you giving me one of those thumbs up. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for my patrons, and for those of you who have been following along, <laughs> that's why I'm out here doing what I'm doing. It's, thank you for that. I appreciate that opportunity. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?